Hey, sorry, I was busy. I'm sort of looking to hook up while I'm here. Gross. Guys who are over 30 who do that are losers. Enjoy the STDs. You should be embarrassed to call yourself a career professional. Maybe put that in your profile next time, dip. Enjoy your probably fat and ugly future wife. Or dying alone. Did you forget you were on Tinder? Hey, you remember Tinder? I remember Tinder. <laughs> Feeling sarcastic. Before you read, I'm being sarcastic, so don't take sloppy seconds too seriously, lol. I just realized I'm 28 years old and single, which means I'm not going to be someone's first love. All the good ones are taken. If I ever get married, the guy will most likely have been divorced, widowed, or been in a long relationship. So as single people that's 25 plus, we'll be getting someone's crappy seconds. Unless we date someone way young that's just starting out. <laughs> If you ever been married or never been in a long relationship where you actually lived together for eight plus years, hit me up. <laughs> well, good news for the nice guys. She's looking for you. Hey, smiley face. Dang, I'm not used to texting first. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> that's fine. I never know what to say anyways. Yeah, it could be super awkward. <laughs> Uh-huh, tell me more about it. So what kind of stuff do you enjoy doing? Fingering my jar of peanut butter? <laughs> Wanna see? No. Ugly virgin. <laughs> you dodged a bullet there, brother. She is talking crazy and you just met her. She's being rather, uh flamboyant for lack of a better term and you just met her this is the first thing she said to you and then she insults you right after rejection Oof, crazy train my ex is already in a relationship and i don't even know how to feel he told me that he was going to be single for a bit and now all of a sudden in a relationship it's always the loyal ones that stay single, Naruto hand signs. No worries though, I'ma have what I want and need cause I'm letting God do his thing. Amen. Flip him. Men never upgrade. They just find easy girls to distract themselves from the fact that they suck and they can't keep a girl that's actually worth something. Both of these posts scream, I'm desperate, but I don't want attention. But I really want attention because I'm posting it on Facebook. Can the hobo beard trend die out already? It's not attractive. Why are men subjecting us to this? Are bearded men more sexist than their clean-shaven peers? A study shows shocking results. You be careful with those men. Do you want to see more or less posts like this in your feed? Show less, show less. Dear God, please show less. I've been dating this guy, but he has a cat that he's had for a few years, and personally, I think he's way too attached to it and affectionate about it. Sometimes he'll get home and see the cat and go, there's my little girl, and pet her when I'm like right there in the same room. This just seems like way too much attention for a grown man to be lavishing on a cat of all things. Do you think I could suggest that he get rid of it? Take a second. Breathe. Then think. You're jealous of a cat? And she thinks he's the one with the problem. I've heard of crazy cat ladies, but I've never heard of a crazy anti-cat lady. <laughs> I just been to the Starbucks with Josh and I was in a mood, so I didn't want anything and he actually didn't give me anything. <laughs> Anyone want a useless boyfriend? Smiley face, smiley face, smiley face, smiely face. Hey, what's your zodiac sign? Leo, yours? Gemini? Nice. I guess. If I remember correctly, Leo and Gemini get along together pretty well. Yeah, but it's average, I guess. Eh? My memory is a little fuzzy on that. So I'm about to head into work so my replies won't be as quick, unless you'd like to pick up in the morning? You don't care, I'll leave forever. I care, I just need a paycheck. 
for food and shelter and stuff. Whatever, bye. I guess I dodged a bullet there, didn't I? What? All boys are the same! You are talking to a man. A working man. Have a good night. I have just a little bit of advice for you single men. If you hear a girl talk unironically about star signs, run. Run for the hills, brother. I can't help but be upset when I hear how successful my ex is. Don't get me wrong, I want nothing more for him to be happy. We were together since high school and even through college. Our moms were good friends and we got along great with each other's families. Back then, he didn't take school seriously. He's a spoiled rich kid and only went to college because his parents forced him to go, mainly because he's an only child. Unlike me, I had to take out student loans to pay for my education. I ended up breaking up with him because I felt like we were together for so long and I never had a chance to explore life. He understood when I told him that's the reason I wanted to break up and he gave me my space, but I freaked up when a month later I ended up dating his friend from high school. I was young and dumb and thought I was in love. But in the end, it just never worked out. It wasn't until my aunt, who's a realtor, said my ex called her to go check out some houses. I was shocked because when we were together, he never wanted to move out of his parents' house. But he was looking at a million dollar house with his new soon to be wife. I was a little snoopy and asked my mom about how my ex was doing because she's still friends with his mom. My mom said his mom always brags about how beautiful and hardworking her new NYAB is? And she comes from a wealthy family as well and runs her own business. A few weeks later, I went to the grocery store and I ran into him and he looked right at me and pretended like he didn't even know me. We were each other's first love. Did that not mean anything? Sometimes I wonder if he even still thinks about me. Sometimes I feel like I was such a fool all those years I threw away because that could have been my life with him. Why couldn't he have just been the man for me when I was with him? He's everything I wanted him to be. He's doing everything for her. When I used to beg him to change, but he'd do that in a heartbeat for her. she take my money. Well, I'm in need. She's a trifling friend indeed. Oh, she's a gold digger. Digs up down. Oh, dig on me. Uh. One time, Lindsay Lohan bought herself a teddy bear, tipped off paparazzi where she was, and then pretended to walk out of her ex's front door to make his new girlfriend jealous. Stay toxic, queens. So I know this is really toxic and super petty, but it's kind of hilarious, don't you think? I think James is dead. He hasn't sent a whole message in over 30 minutes. Something is wrong. Maybe he has a life? It's James. Oh, I love the boy, but he doesn't do. Now, I don't know this girl personally, so I couldn't give you all the details, but she seems just a little too clingy. Not overly nice girl obsessive, so maybe I'll give her a pass. Oh boy, this one's a long one. Uh, let me see if we can get through this. Listen, if you're gonna leave, that's fine. And I know you promised you wouldn't, but I also know that it sometimes it rains even when it's not supposed to, and boys kiss girls they shouldn't, and people trust people that they shouldn't, so I understand if you're done, but please don't forget to pack up our three hour FaceTime calls and photographs where we were smiling so big. Okay, no, I, can't, I just can't. Oh my god, this is terrible. What are you doing? Hey, can we talk? What would you like to talk about? How you should break up with your girlfriend for me? What do you mean? I mean what I said. I mean, why would I do that? Because I'm better than her, and you once told me that you'd never felt the same way about me than anyone else. I could treat you good, and we'd have so much in common, and I miss you! Sarah, if you have any respect for me, and respect for yourself, then stop contacting me. I'm in a healthy, committed relationship. We have an apartment and pets together. It's quite toxic and disrespectful of you to attempt to put me in this situation. I didn't even consider the idea, and I won't in the future either. I wish you well. Just so you guys know, I've been in a committed relationship for about seven years. So the thought of somebody trying to break me up it's gross, it's so disgusting, and honestly, it really irritates me. I can't believe somebody would do something like this, especially if they live together. Pfft, get out of here, toxic. 
You be careful with those men. Ow. Well, then stop fucking.